if he does look good this week. Ah, thanks, thanks. I, I know that was a comment last week, wasn't it? Um, right, so, uh, hi guys, uh, welcome back to the My Mental Health Matters vlog. Uh, Stephen may remember me from, like, the last vlog. Um, I'm here with Paul. Uh, Hello. <laughs> who's our mental health and well-being advisor at the college so he's going to do a wee bit talk a wee bit about uh, some of the stuff that's been happening this week um, go for it yeah thank you Stephen as Stephen said that I'm, a, I'm fairly new to the college I started towards the end of the uh, last academic year so hopefully um, I see we're now up and running with my mental health matters month there's been various activities going on uh, various blogs etc so hopefully you've been getting involved having a look at some of the posters that are around i also want to just recap on a campaign that we've started for the month uh, and it's the see me badge so let me just i'll let you see the see me badge it's here you've probably seen some of these going around the college and the idea is just to get people talking about uh, the issue of mental health um, the idea of the badge is if you get one somebody will pass it on to you, wear it for 24 hours and you give two facts about mental health. So the two facts are that one in four people in their lifetime will experience, experience a mental health illness eh, and out of them nine out of ten are reporting some form of stigma and discrimination. So that's a really high number and we know that you know when people face stigma and discrimination eh, or they're fearful of that, they're, they're more unlikely to talk about their mental health. Uh, and disclose that they've got issues around mental health so it's really important we get people talking and if you don't mind Stephen I'll just go on and just... No, I, all I was going to say was that was quite evident in some of the comments that yeah. was made on um, Facebook and Twitter, social media about stigma still being very evident Absolutely. nowadays so um, yeah. you know so that is something obviously that, that the students in, in the wider community are are still fearful of and aware of so yeah, yeah. no no absolutely and it's important it's an important issue to highlight and something that we want to start breaking down because we don't want people not coming forward and talking about their mental health because they're, they're afraid of the, the reaction that they might get so um but i just want to talk a wee bit about mental health in general um, we know that i was fairly recently a student and i very much enjoyed student life i um, it was a good experience but i'm also aware that at times student life can come with pressures and stresses um, sometimes it almost feels as if you've got a juggling act so you've got you know, your classes to attend you've got perhaps family commitments you perhaps there's financial worries so there can be pressures and stresses and at times that can take its toll on their emotional and mental health and that's that's can be fairly normal uh, and it's sometimes about how we react to that and i just want to talk a bit about today about just i suppose some of the stuff that we can do to take control of our mental health. You know, like our physical health, there's things that we would do to make us better if we were unwell. And sometimes mental health is no different. There's things that you can do where you can take control of your mental health. And I want to just talk a bit about that today. So I'm really just going to finish with, I suppose, five, uh, five top tips of what we can do to help us to manage our mental health. So is there anything you want to add in at all? No, not at all. Carry, on, carry on, Paul. So basically... I'm quite intrigued. That's quite intriguing. I'm quite intrigued. You're looking forward to I'm this? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I hope I don't disappoint you. Right. <laughs> Tips. A study carried out at the Texas Medical Centre found that people who regularly exercise um, can be half as likely to become depressed as those who don't. So quite, quite, um, quite telling statistics there. Also changes to your diet. Too much high, high sugar, um, high caffeine drinks, that can have a, a really negative impact on your mood and it can also increase your levels of anxiety. So just pay attention to what you're snacking on. These high caffeine drinks, you know, I would encourage you not to be drinking them um, because it will it will fuel your anxiety and it can make things worse. Um, also, another simple thing, just talk about how you feel. Talk about how you feel exactly. Just exactly. just talk. It's, you know, a fairly simple thing to do, but again, it's really important you're able just to um, you know find someone that you can talk to, explain how you're feeling because that can have that can have a really positive impact on mental well-being as well. Um, also, find time to relax. Tip number four find time to relax there's lots of ways you can do that there is you, know, you can get involved in perhaps some yoga local yoga classes there's a um, there's also we've got a now i feel i have to mention the well-being hub on the well-being what, hub what is the well-being hub well, the well-being hub you'll see on moodle uh, there's a tile moodle? Uh, a tile a tile right a okay tile. It's good. what's a tile a, a tile that's something you would click and it would take into more information right. okay so get two wee heads you'll, you'll see it on homepage in moodle Click into that, it'll take you into a section for 
relaxation and mindfulness. And that gives you some really simple tips and simple ways that you can help to just take time to, it's what they call self-soother, just relax. Again, really important for our mental health. Wow. Last one is pay attention to your sleep. And I think you were in one of my workshops. Uh, I was, and I fell asleep. Did you? After that night, that night, I fell asleep. That night, I fell asleep. That night, I didn't fall asleep during your, your talk. I thought some folk might have, but, uh, <laughs> but no, p paying attention to sleep is really important. We know that sleep, uh, absolutely, we know the, the physical benefits of sleep, but a lot more research now into the, uh, the, the, the negative impact that poor sleep can have on our emotional and mental health. And it's really, really important that we pay attention to our sleep, uh, because when we have poor sleep patterns, it will make us more irritable, it will affect our mood, uh, and it can also increase anxiety. So again, really simple tips there. There's more information can be found in the Wellbeing Hub about how you can manage your mental health. And I really encourage you to engage in that. Go on, have a look, because there's lots of things we can do to help us manage our mental health. Okay, I think that was you want Very to well said, Paul. Thanks. Yeah. Very well. You should think about taking this up as a job. I don't think I was looking at the camera all the time, so apologies for that. Right. Um, I'm just looking down at my phone because I'm just wanting to make specific comments on a few people that's been doing some great stuff. Um, so excuse me, but um, Kerry Strummond, uh, Leanne Elizabeth, uh, Michelle Parrott, all uh, taking photos of the my Mental Health Matters bands and posting them on Facebook. Um, and also uh, Taylor McKee Knox um, doing some great stuff um, on her uh, classes group. Um, not only um, giving a really, really good feedback and talking about um, you know the, the stigma and that, that people face, but also posting some really nice wee feel-good quotes. So that's something else if you can attach onto something and just these wee quotes, wee reminders of the day. You know, it's pretty pretty good. So doing some great stuff there as well. Ali, uh, Lynn Murder, Evelyn McGarry, Taylor McKee Knox. Um, yeah, all doing loads of stuff. Anne Marie Gillis, great. Um, so yeah, child care in particular have been really embracing it. So it's great. Let's let's get let's get more posts up. Let's get more interaction going. Yeah. So again, comment this time. Maybe comment about get involved about his dodgy here um, and and leave mine alone involved. this week. But uh, well, um, not going involved. <laughs> um, but yeah, get involved. Okay, guys. Great to see you again and see you next week. Okay.